Hi, I'm Brian Eisenhower, and I am sitting here with Courtney Downer. And Courtney is the transaction coordinator of the Ron Henderson team. Their team closed over 125 transactions last year, and they are moving forward this year onto much bigger and better things. And some of the activities and systems that Courtney has put into place uh, for the team are a big cause of that. And what we're here today to talk about are Zillow reviews and how we are, how Courtney has created a system that she is now implementing for the team to utilize online reviews um, to generate more leads for that team, which is amazing. So congratulations on your efforts so far, Courtney. Thank you. You bet. <laughs> so uh, we talk about online reviews, um, and that can include anything from Zillow. What, what else are you guys looking at that you're increasing your reviews on? Zillow, Google.com, Realtor.com. The, that's where we're starting for now. Angie's List is another one. So Angie's List as well. So those are the big ones, right? Zillow, Google, um, Realtor.com, Angie's List, all really, really big. Uh, and it sounds like Zillow is getting the most traffic right now. So you've been really focusing on Zillow primarily, although you are growing the others, um, growing your online reviews. Yes. Um, but Zillow is a real big focus. You've got a lot of yes. Zillow reviews and you're generating a lot of business. Yes. 44. Right. 44 reviews on Zillow right now. Yeah, 44 reviews on Zillow. And this is since a system that Courtney has started generating. Um, that's amazing. That's phenomenal. Thank you. Uh, and uh, so we want to talk a little bit about that system. Um, I know in the last three months you had mentioned you've gotten eight, uh, the team's gotten eight leads alone just from Zillow. Um, and that's not counting the other online sources. Um, so and we're seeing more and more of that now. It's like a trend out there for these different companies to rank realtors uh, by a five-star, four-star, three-star, two-star, one-star method. And people are using that. Yes, they are. People are losing. You're seeing that too. Oh, You've yeah. got the most reviews for our area and you're getting the most business from those online sources. Awesome. Yeah, and um, that's buyers and sellers as well too, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, because you've got buyers and they've got something to sell as well too. That's so right. it's becoming very fruitful. So they say eighty-eight percent, typically every single year for the past few years, anywhere between eighty-eight and eighty-nine percent of all buyers start their search online too. Mm -hmm. So why not be the person that looks best when they go look online? That's right. And Courtney has done just that for Ron, and that is tricky Thank to do. You. Let me tell you. <laughs> the uh, so. <laughs> so what I want to know is how you're getting so many dang reviews. Everybody else in this hot, hot market is just way too busy. Sounds like you found the answer is to put a system behind generating more reviews. Yes, absolutely. It is part of my 20% and it is something that we focus on from start to finish. From the beginning consultations to the last day of closing, It's I send out that email on the last day that says, we're ready for you to review us, please. Please right. go, so, go do that. And I think that's cool in itself. I mean, you're a transaction coordinator. You're supposed to be on the administrative side. You're not out there expected to generate business. But as a part of your job description, you are now a business generator for the team. Yes. Which is, I think, neat. And I think you treat your efforts and activities around generating this review as a part of your transaction coordination checklist. Absolutely. And I use it as a gauge for my customer service, the experience that they're having. I always have in the back of my mind that they're going to be reviewing us online and that's out there forever and I want it to be a five-star review. So I That becomes that. a focus. It really does. And that's neat. Most people just have a transaction checklist that is remember to get the disclosure signed, remember to get the inspection done, remember to get this signed or this document in or this earnest money check up. Yeah. Well, you're on offense. You're not just playing defense. You're out there doing income producing activities that actually make you have a return of investment on the team that's quite high, which, which I nice. think is amazing. Everybody's growth oriented on that team and that's probably why you get the results you do. Most people don't get a lot of, on they maybe have two or three Zillow reviews that they remember to do. Right. Or any type of review, a Google review. And Google, just so you know, is actually, and Courtney just showed me, and I mean now when you just go search somebody's name on Google, if they're an agent, their bio pops up and right there it shows your reviews. So you really want to have some reviews there. Absolutely. You've done a good job of getting yep. those up and I know you plan on growing those even more. Yes. Um, Angie's List, people look on there for realtors. It's nice to be there and have some very good reviews as well too. That's been a little that's secret cool. of you guys' for quite some time. Yeah. You said that's gold. Yeah. 
That is, list is gold. <laughs> it is absolutely gold. It's amazing how many agents are not on there when people want to pick a realtor. Yeah. And that's where people go look for stuff about their home. Yes. They also go look to find where they're going to sell it there. That's right. So are you on there? Do you have reviews on there? We are on there. We have, I want to say, 15 or so. 15 or, and you've been getting business from them for a couple of years now. We have, yeah. Yeah. So when we get a client that we found them on Angie's List, we apply the same principles to a five-star review. Will you be sure to write a five-star review for us on Angie's List? We just plant that throughout. And that's neat because you're talking about whether it be Zillow, Google, Realtor.com, or Angie's List or whatever. Mm -hmm. This system can plug and play with any of those online platforms. Yeah. So you can just rotate it depending on which one needs more reviews at a given time. And right now, I know your focus is to really blow up Zillow. Yes. Um, and then, then once you've got enough on there that you feel adequate, you can move over and just all your new clients that you're moving through, we can actually get them to do some of the other uh, online reviews. Great. Okay, so this is not just about randomly asking friends or super happy clients that you think will give you a review. You ask everybody, that you, everybody you do a transaction with that we close. Yes. Absolutely. And it's not just at the end either, is it? It's not. It, you know, in fact, if they're telling us throughout the transaction how impressed they are with our, the service they're getting so far, we tell them, that's great. Please feel free to go ahead and follow this link and write a review now. If they bring it up. If the opportunity presents itself, go for but it. But if it doesn't, how do you plant the seed over time? Uh, that, again, just comes from the beginning buyer's consultation listing agreement having them promise to that we'll, we promise to give you a five-star experience if you promise to give us a five-star review and then I when I get them under contract or when they're in a contract and they come to me that's part of the first call that I make to them the last thing I say to them is what can I do to make this a five-star experience for you so sublimity we're mentioning five stars Absolutely. the sales agents are saying it once they get to you you're saying it and we're repeating it throughout the transaction and definitely saying it again at closing yes it's all about setting that expectation absolutely that we want to give you five star service if they're not arguing your five star service then they almost are obligated to give you a five star yes. review They've promised <laughs> they have promised the whole time yes. and at the same time you're actually keeping yourself accountable that you are providing high customer service because what would happen if they said well i'm kind of feeling four star courtney yeah, well, yeah. Correct that <laughs> we probably, we have probably <laughs> something to correct right yes. not having a five star day today yeah. right well we gotta <laughs> fix that <laughs> right so you're you actually evidencing and telling them how important customer service is to you yes, so you're actually improving your customer service and mm -hmm. actually training them how to think you have good customer service yeah. and also lead generating for more business down the road by getting them to put that review for you. Yes. Which I think is awesome. Then at the closing, not only does everybody mention it at closing mm -hmm. to remind them, yes. you then send an email to them. Yes, the day of closing, um, it is mentioned at closing and then I monitor when the closing has happened, the funds have been dispersed, and then I send a templated email to the client that the first paragraph of it, I will personalize it with, hey, we've gotten notice that notification from the title company that your closing has funded. You should be receiving your proceeds. Congratulations. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. I just like love it. So happy for you. And then I go into the, if you were satisfied with our service, a templated email, and then I wrap it up with, you know, we, we really enjoyed working for, with you. Thank you for trusting us. Something more personal too. So the bulk of it's just a template. It's here's yes. the link. Click on this link and that takes them right to yes. where they can do the Zillow review or right where they can do the Google review or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So you can rotate what link you put in there. Yes. And that's where you can control making sure all your online reviews are good. And you're, the reason you do this at every file is because it's in your transaction checklist. Like you can't close that file out until that box is checked. That is absolutely correct. So most people just once closing and keys have been handed, we're done. No, there's so much more that happens after right. that. Right. That's <laughs> where you do all your customer service follow-up phone calls, ask for referrals, provide vendors, and of course, make sure that Google review is done. Yes. Yeah, so customer service keeps going with you. Guys. It really does. Yeah, so that is awesome. Um, uh, you know, Courtney, thank you so much for your time with us today yeah, and awesome. sharing the team secrets, and, and congratulations on creating an amazing system to build an online brand for this whole team. Thank well you. done. I appreciate it. You bet.